Hi friends, my name is Bruce Wood. I'm here at the Woodshed Gallery in Franklin, Massachusetts, where we're featuring the watercolors of Brenda Hutchinson. Brenda is a local award-winning watercolor artist, and when I got talking to her about her paintings, I realized how personal these all are. She combines a love of New England with a love of little things in life that bring back memories. So she's here to introduce her work, and Brenda, please do. Hi Bruce, thank you for having me. This first one is a still life of just a potpourri of sewing utensils and thread and especially the pincushion, which I think every one of my generation's mother had that tomato pincushion. It was kind of a fun painting to do and a little difficult, but kind of interesting. The second one is a combination of some of my collection of seashells which I set out and placed on the sand, which required a lot of spattering of paint, but it was kind of a fun thing to do, and I've collected these shells on New England beaches over the years. This is a still life featuring additional seashells with a vase of dried flowers, which I had in my home. These next two paintings were done on location in Maine this past June, uh, two beautiful days we painted outdoors. Uh, the lupin were in bloom, which they bloom wildly for about two weeks. This painting overlooks Stonington Harbor from the street behind. I did a small study and took photographs and brought it back to the studio to do a larger final painting and could be typical of any harbor in Maine or throughout New England. The next one was done while sitting out among the lupin right in the fields one afternoon and I was taken by the shed with the weather vane in contrast with the beautiful colors of the lupin. All right, this next one is uh, spring flowers were just blooming with the pussy willows, tulips, and forsythia and after the long winter it was just a fun painting to do, and feeling spring is here. This next one, I was at the Big Apple Farm stand in Rentham, Mass., which is next to Franklin, and just for my local vegetables and fruit this summer when the, they had just cut their homegrown sunflowers, and they were so beautiful on the large centers, I just had to buy some and do a painting and decided to put it on a quilt, and it would bring out the sunflowers and make a wonderful contrast to the vase of flowers. I think a lot of people have quilts in their New England homes. In this last one, I um, bought some yellow and red onions. I love the colors in them and just the transparency of the skins, and took a blue platter, which I had at home, and set it behind them and felt it would make a nice painting for someone's kitchen or dining area. 